Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. You already know, my name is Melanie. This is one thing I love to do every morning, especially if it's a beautiful morning. I just love to open my blinds because it adds such a difference in my space. Like you could see it here, I put back to back. It looks brighter, it looks better, and I just love how it looks. So this is one thing I make sure to do every morning. As soon as I come into the living room, this is what I love to do. Now Saturdays, I usually spend more time with like myself, especially in the mornings. And I usually always wake up before Lewis on the weekends. And I wanted to do something different today. I started reading a book, well, rereading. I started rereading a book, so I'm taking some time to do that. After about an hour of reading, I go into the kitchen and I'm like, okay, let me make some breakfast. Usually because in the mornings I get ready to go to work and I takes me like 30 minutes to drive to work as well. I usually wait about an hour until after I wake up to eat. I don't eat right away as soon as I wake up. Usually I'm not hungry. I could wait. And then plus I've been drinking apple cider vinegar in the morning. So this morning for breakfast, I wanted to make scrambled eggs with some toast and some bacon, but the bacon did not look good and it smelled kind of funny. So I Googled it and I was like, how long does bacon last in the fridge? But I don't think I put it away right. So I was super bummed and I was bummed because it's Saturday, you know, usually on Saturdays we work a nine to five job or, you know, we work throughout the week where we don't have time to make a bomb ass breakfast. During the week when I go to work, I usually, you know, prep my breakfast where I make overnight oats or sometimes I make a protein shake in the morning and the weekends I have time to make breakfast for myself. So I like to go all out. So I'm still doing the eggs. I like to do three eggs, uh, two whole eggs, and then one egg yolk, or no, not the egg yolk, one, <laughs> and then just egg whites, you know? And then I like to just spread the oil everywhere in the pan because it just makes sense. I can't really do it right with the spatula. And I get out my spices. Something I learned from Gordon Ramsay recently is that usually people put the salt in the eggs as soon as you're done um, mixing them to make scrambled eggs, but apparently that separates the eggs. So now I just put all the seasonings in the pan when I put it in the pan. Why did I just say that? <laughs> then I'm just like, let me get some spinach up in here. And finally I put in my toast. I'm using the AWG toast, so good. The only thing is though, is that I wish it was bigger. Like normal size toast, you know, like one piece of toast. But today I wanted to go out and have two pieces of toast. Finally, I'm done with that and I'm like, yes. And I get my hot sauce, but as soon as I get my hot sauce, I start thinking, you know, I kind of want to make myself a hot chai tea. So yeah, let's make it. I have my frother, so, and I have my chai tea tea bags. And then I also have this new uh, keto milk Cinnabon flavor or cinnamon bun flavor. I don't know, I got it from Grocery Outlet and I love trying out their new things. I'm like in my happy zone right now and getting some butter on my toast. How often do you have time to do this during the week, so. The weekends, especially Saturday morning, I really just treat myself and take care of myself mentally. Now that it's done, I wanted to go with my mugs. Gosh, I have too many mugs to choose from. I'm like, you're the best. Let me go with that. Then I got my milk hot and I just wanted to add some foam. But because this is keto milk and it has like no fat, obviously there was no foam on this, but still. It tasted so good. And then the cinnamon on top, I was like, mmm, so good in my happy place right now. I wish I could have done my happy dance, but I didn't. Now this was my plan. I wanted to shower and be ready, go to the doctors, and you know, as if I'm gonna go to the birthday party. I've run out of time. I think this is what I wanna do. I wanna just change and put on some like gym clothes and go to the doctors, shower beforehand. I hate this, like, am I the only one 
like how can I put this into words see I can't even put this into words because I don't even know what to do I have a birthday party I'm going in the same car with my niece so we're carpooling <sighs> I have to get ready I want to you know put my face on but I have this doctor's appointment first that shouldn't take too long so I'm thinking if I go there get there early maybe I could get seen early <sighs> okay I have a plan I think I know what I'm gonna do and then plus you know what I didn't even really feel like vlogging today either but my last video for February just went out and now this video is supposed to go out in March today is just not a good day for vlogging mostly because you know I'm just at the place where I don't want to be yet and I haven't been growing and it just sucks it really really sucks but then I just tell myself you know what some people made hundreds of videos before getting put into the algorithm so I just gotta keep on doing me just gotta keep on being me and it'll happen it'll happen I know it'll happen I just gonna take this day by day focus on doing this day by day so I just gonna hurry up and do what I need to do so let's do that Sorry for how dark it is in here. I need to go outside and then it's gonna be bright as heck. So I don't know if I should have the setting. Oh, look at that, way better. I showered and now I'm gonna shower again after the doctors. But that's because I need to wash my hair and the conditioner I use, it's a red conditioner and right now I feel like my red isn't as vibrant. So I need to like add some red to it so it could be vibrant and I might re-dye my hair um I don't know I guess we'll see how it goes with the red I'm on my way to the doctors and I don't have to be there until 1 30 I think let me see it says check-in is oh so my appointment time is 1 20 I have to check in at 105 so I'm not gonna make it by 105 I'll probably get there exactly at 120. So I hope I could be seen earlier or like on time. I also need to message my sister to let her know I'm going with my niece and I'm not carpooling with her anymore. I feel like, I don't know if I'm the only one. Am I the only one who just feels, even though I have a few things to do, they feel like a million? Honestly, I only have a birthday party to go to and a freaking doctor's appointment, that's it. But my mind is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's not just me. And I feel like I'm going on a little bit of a rant today. Okay, so I know I'm not the only one who likes to bump up their music. But right now, this is my song on repeat. It is called Caprichoso by Rao Alejandro. Oh my gosh, this is my jam. And I was like, let me just show a little piece of the song because, you know, copyright issues. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm back in the car. I actually went in for a woman thing. If you're a woman, you get this about every three years. Uh, for me, I have to do it every year. If you're a woman, you know what I'm talking about. If you are, I think the age of 23 is when you start getting these. But yeah, that's what I went in for. But it was the fastest one I have ever went in for. I was just like, what? She just went in and went out. <laughs> I was like, well, all right then. But the funniest thing was is that they spilled gel on my leg, which I was like, yeah, that's all good. <laughs> so they spilled the gel on my leg and they were like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, it's totally fine. This is why I'm glad I shaved. I shaved my legs before I came. Cause I'm like, I looked it up and I'm like, oh, she's a girl doctor, but still like, you know, we gotta take care of ourselves. <laughs> and now I'm even more glad that I shaved because I already needed to shave my legs. 
and I was just like, man, imagine if I wouldn't have shaved my legs. <laughs> I would have been even more embarrassed. And the nurse was telling me, oh, okay, you know, bye, have a great day. And I'm Mexican. So when, like, for us to say you too, I'm like, I was gonna say, oh, you know, igualmente, which is you too in Spanish. And I'm just like, ah. But another thing that I do is when I, oh, look, there's Camelot. When I go out to public settings where there are adults around, I speak way more proper. That was probably improper. There's a difference. Like, if you know, you know. There's a difference how you speak with your friends, there's a difference how you speak with your parents, and then there's a difference how you speak with um, people at the doctors, people, you know. I guess customer service. I don't know how to say it. It's just if you know, you know that there's a difference in how you speak in certain areas that you're in. So I'm in an area where I'm just like, I don't want them to think I'm some stupid everyday Mexican. Like this, this is just how I feel. So I wanted to say, oh, you as well. But the Mexican came out in me and I was like, oh, you know, igualmente. <laughs> I was like, oh, so I ended up just telling the girl, igual as well. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh. The little things that happen in our lives, I swear. But yeah, now I'm on my way home. I have to wash my hair, hurry up, put on my face and get changed. I'm gonna try to be at my niece's house by 3.30. We'll see though. <laughs> So I'm about five minutes now from my niece's house. We're gonna carpool together. I'm so excited because we have some stuff that we need to catch up on. And then she has my beautiful, adorable niece. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any recording. If anything, I'll probably just record a little bit of the party, but not too much. Um, this might be it for today. If anything, no, by the time I drive home, it'll be a lot. I will definitely check in before I go to bed, but I'm making this a two day vlog because today, today was not that eventful. I don't know if you could tell, but I am super tired. I look terrible. I came home. I told Louis about like every highlight of my night. And then I ended up falling asleep on the couch for a little bit. But I'm getting up. I changed out of my clothes, took off my bra. It feels so good taking off your bra. And Louis is showering right now. I'm gonna shower after and then I'm just gonna knock out. I'm so tired. I got up, drank some water, so I have some life back in me, but now I'm just like. And then I just started thinking too, cause I'm like, dude, I've been listening to um, Alicia Marie and Remy's podcast, but I like barely started. So I'm in like the year 2018 right now when they first started their podcast. I'm on like the sixth or the seventh episode or something like that. And I'm just like, wow. I, I wanna be an influencer. That's like, you know, my dream. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. I mean, I've been YouTubing for over a year now and it's, it's tiring. It's really tiring. And I'm just like, my gosh, listening to their podcast and them just like sometimes talking about their YouTube lives and everything as being influencers. I'm like, that's really tiring. And I'm almost 30, I'm so tired. And then I start thinking, am I gonna be too old to be an influencer? But then I'm like, screw that. If I really want it, I could make it happen. That is the thing about America. It doesn't matter where you come from, if you push yourself and you work hard and you keep on believing and you surround yourself with those type of people, you could do anything and there shouldn't be anything holding you back. The only thing that's gonna hold you back is yourself, like me. 
I'm telling myself, maybe I'm going to be too old to be an influencer. You know, all these people started young and they're in the business and everything. But I'm just like, I could do it. I could do it. And first off, I don't look like I'm going to be 30. And I'm technically not going to be 30. I'm turning 29 this year. 29. But that little, like, monologue right there made me more weak. So... Lewis is in the shower, like I already said, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put on something and watch something until he gets out. I wanted to read, but I'm gonna read myself to sleep. So this is good night. I will be seeing you tomorrow because I do wanna do a weekend vlog. This is a little weekend vlog, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Saturday. Gonna wake up to you guys tomorrow and it's another day. I don't have anything planned tomorrow, but Sometimes things happen in my life. I know for sure I need to go to the market, so tomorrow just might be a meal prep day. That'll be fun. Have you guys meal prep with me? And then everything else is like, oh, you know what? Actually, tomorrow, tomorrow is the gym day, but also tomorrow it's supposed to be warm. So maybe after the gym, I could go in the jacuzzi. Ooh, that would be nice. My muscles would be like, yes. See, I didn't have anything planned, but now, Talking to you guys, this is how things get done. This is how plans get made. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning, everyone. Oh, nothing like stretching. I swear, stretching feels so good. Lewis is sleeping. I usually always get up before Lewis. That's why I usually talk really, really low in the morning. Right now I'm about to watch church online. I also like to take notes during the service, but right now I like really need to journal too because I feel like I have so much to do today and my thoughts are like jumbled. Like I feel like I have more to do today than I did yesterday. There's just so much. I don't understand how, how we do everything we need to do. Sometimes we're super busy and it's not even busy doing errands or something but sometimes being busy doing what we want to do for ourselves that's also a major thing that i'm just like wow i never thought of that before uh church is gonna start in about three minutes so i will see you guys after that it's only an hour which is really great i love that too and just a great time to get situated with myself get my thoughts together be positive be thankful i'll see you guys in a bit so you know how i said that yesterday it was gonna be warm so i wanted to go in the jacuzzi well i actually didn't really want to go in the jacuzzi because i was gonna go into the gym so i just decided to read my book at the pool what I loved about it was that it was so peaceful. The sun was so warm. I was super cold that morning because our apartment was cold and, you know, I knew it was going to get warm, so we didn't want to turn on the heater. But just reading outside was so relaxing. I definitely want to do it again. If you haven't read outside ever, I highly suggest that you read outside, please. Also, it's gym day. I just started adding walking and abs before my actual workout. I do abs like every other day. Oh my gosh, I do 10 minute ab videos on YouTube and they kick my butt. Like I made sure to leave in the parts where I'm tired, the parts where I'm resting because I want you to see it's not perfect all the time. Not everything is perfect. We are real, we're humans. And then plus, I like to be real with you guys on you know, YouTube. I like to be honest, I like to be authentic. And how can I not show you that if I don't include the authenticity in the clips, you know, in the video. Now in this workout I'm doing on the OpenFit app, it's called Dumbbell Blitz. So this day was all about the dumbbells and using it on my biceps. Now I love to flex and you can't even tell in the video. Gym is complete. Yes, yay on me. Um, and you know what? I was like super stressed out today, but I said, you know what, Melanie, just focus on yourself. Do what you want to do because during the week, I'm usually working. Just work. I'm doing my day job, subbing, and then I'm doing my night job, which is YouTube. So reading at the pool was super, super calming. I've never done that at the pool. And I was, I was so calm. I was so warm. I loved it. So I definitely want to do that again. Working out was great. 
usually I like to walk 15 minutes and I just watch like the TV show I'm watching, whatever TV show I'm watching, which I also like to do. And right now I'm just gonna eat my after workout food, which I am so excited for. I'm starving. I still have to go to the market, but it's just really quick and I'm just gonna make salmon and asparagus tonight maybe to have ready for tomorrow to eat so I don't, you know, binge crazy at work. And yeah, it's, shoot, I don't even know what time it is, but you know, I still have a lot of time left in the day and I'm gonna use all of it. <sighs> I kinda just wanna end the vlog right here. My arm is so tired of carrying this camera. Okay, I'm gonna eat and relax. I'll probably, I'll probably check back in with you whenever. right here I had a bomb lunch I'm probably gonna make myself dinner Ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna have but I'm gonna make sure it's good and yeah so I will see you guys here in the next vlog I can't believe this video is gonna go up in March I'm shocked I am shocked but a goal of mine is that I want to get four videos out again this week no not this week I want to get four videos out again this month Oh, but spring break is already going to be this month in March. So, hmm. I might release maybe five or six videos. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll see you guys next week. Ah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.